Korean dramas or K-dramas have taken the world by storm, captivating millions of viewers globally with their unique blend of emotion, humor, and cultural insight. Far from being a niche genre, these dramas resonate across different cultures and demographics, becoming a global phenomenon. World Famous SG here we present to you the part 2 of our top 20 best K-drama that appear in Drama Fever. World Famous SG lists down and rank those K-drama that has been shown in Drama Fever. Our criteria are worldwide popularity of the drama and acting prowess of actors. On our part 1 we unveil the dramas ranked 20 to 11, now on our part 2 we will reveal the top 10. One of the platforms feeding this frenzy is Drama Fever, hosting an eclectic mix of K-dramas that cater to varied tastes. From thrilling sagas to heartwarming tales, there's a K-drama for everyone. Drama Fever was founded in 2009. New York-based Drama Fever was acquired by Warner Brothers in 2016 from Japan's SoftBank Group. New York-based Drama Fever has operated as a unit of Warner Brothers Digital Networks. Unfortunately, because of high competition in streaming platforms, Drama Fever, the streaming video service specializing in Korean dramas and other Asian programming, has shut down on October 16, 2018. Today, we dive into the top 10 K-dramas that have made waves in Drama Fever. Starting our countdown at number 10 is War of Money from 2007. This gripping financial drama with its intense plot and captivating performances from Park Shin Yang and Park Jin Hee has won hearts across the globe. Its exploration of the power of money and the lengths people will go to acquire it makes it a standout. Jiam Na Ra is a ruthless moneylender. Seo Ju Hee is a righteous woman. When difficulties with her family's debts arise, Ju Hee was supposed to marry a divorced man but, on the day of the wedding, Jiam Na Ra shows up to collect the debts and ends up ruining her wedding. Coming in at number 9 is Triple from 2009. This drama skates gracefully into our list with its unique blend of romance and sports. With Lee Jung Jae and Min Hyo Rin leading the cast, Triple is a compelling story of dreams, passion, and love on ice. This is about a girl figure skater Lee Haru who is hoping to make it big. Her life gets tangled when she reunites with her stepbrother Shin Hwal after many years of not seeing each other. At number 8, we have Lobbyist from 2007. This political drama starring Song Il Gook and Han Jae Suk dives deep into the world of power manipulation and betrayal. Its intense plot lines and strong character development have made it a must-watch. This is about a female lobbyist dealing with international arms traders. Kang Tai Hyuk is a successor of a main munitions company. He is a young businessman with perfect look using a refined phraseology. Next up at number 7 is On Air from 2008. This drama peels back the curtain on the Korean entertainment industry, with Kim Ha Nul and Park Yong Ha delivering superb performances. Its realistic portrayal of the highs and lows of showbiz has resonated with audiences worldwide. This is about behind-the-scene production and TV drama. It also shows how the whole production team and performers complete a project on a busy schedule, as well as how actors, actresses, and entertainment agencies handle rumors surrounding their artists. Finally, wrapping up the first half of our countdown at number 6 is the iconic Boys Over Flowers from 2009. This classic tale of love and friendship set against the backdrop of an elite high school led by Lee Min-ho and Ku hai Sun is beloved by fans for its heart-tugging narrative and memorable characters. In Xinhua High, a school for the rich and famous there's the notorious F4, the most popular and powerful group of boys at the school. Gu jun Pyo is the leader of F4 and heir to the Xinhua group. Together with him are Yoon Ji-hoo, Song Woo-bin and So Yi-jung, a skilled potter who comes from a family that owns the country's biggest art museum. Halfway through we've already seen some amazing dramas, but the best is yet to come. Before we continue, we need your support. You know, it's your subscriptions and interactions that keep this channel alive and kicking. Did you know that 80% of our viewers are not subscribed? So to those 20% who are subscribed, thank you. If you still belong to 80%, what are you waiting for? It's as easy as hitting that subscribe button and ringing the notification bell so you'll never miss a beat. Are you still waiting for your favorite K-drama to show up? Wait no longer because we will reveal more dramas in Drama Fever. Now let's continue with our list to see the top 5. Cracking into the top 5, we have the 2009 sensation, Brilliant Legacy. 
This drama tells the captivating tale of a young woman who inherits a large fortune, only to find herself tangled in a web of family drama and unexpected romance. With its compelling story and impressive acting, Brilliant Legacy has left an indelible mark on K-drama history. Also known as Shining Inheritance, Go Yoon Sung's life is some kind of Cinderella. After her father vanished, her stepmother, Baek Sung Hee, took away all of her assets and her younger brother, Yoon Woo, suddenly gone without a trace. Despite this, Yoon Sung perseveres and works really hard to achieve her dreams. The CEO of a food company, Yang Suk Ja, suffers amnesia and can't remember who she is. Moving on to number 4, My Lovely Sam Soon from 2005. This drama is a delightful blend of comedy and romance, featuring a talented pastry chef who navigates through her chaotic personal life while dealing with an arrogant restaurant owner. It's a heartwarming tale that resonates with audiences, making it a beloved classic. Kim Sam Soon is a patissier who has a talent for making pastries and cakes. On Christmas Eve, she catches her boyfriend Min Hyun Woo dating a girl and breaks up. On that same night, she meets Hyun Jin Hoon, the owner of Bon Appetit Restaurant. Jin Hun needs a baker for his business and Sam Soon doesn't have a job. At number 3, we have Queen Seondiok, a 2009 drama that plunges you into the world of ancient Korean history. This epic tale of the first female ruler of Silla is a thrilling journey of political intrigue, power struggles, and the unyielding spirit of a woman in a man's world. This drama tells the story of a beautiful queen who has to give up her love to save her people. A biopic of Queen Sion Deok, who was born a princess and soon became the ruler of Silla, leaving behind many successful brilliant achievements on her belt. Coming in at number 2 is Jewel in the Palace, a 2003 drama that has captivated viewers globally. This historical drama set in the royal court features an inspiring story of a woman who becomes the first female royal physician of her era. This drama is set about 500 years ago during the time of Chosun Dynasty, Korea boasted a rigidly hierarchical and male-dominated social structure. Based on real-life story about a legendary girl, Jang Gyum, despite her very poor life as a low-class girl in the male-dominated society, Jang Gyum became the physician in charge of the king. She was named by the king the title, The Great Jang Gyum. Before we reveal our top spot, have you subscribed to our channel yet? World Famous SG is your one-stop channel for all things K-drama, K-movies, K-pop and all Asian actors and we'd hate for you to miss out on the fun. By subscribing, you're not just supporting us, you're joining a global community of fans. So, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, ring the notification bell too. Again, we want to thank Alicia Henry 9284 one of our viewers who suggested this topic of best drama shown on Drama Fever. How about you? What topic would you like us to explore next? There's a lot of topic we can discuss more rankings, from actors, idols, drama shows, and many more. Tell us your thoughts, what topic you want to see next. Ready for the big finale? Now the moment you've all been waiting for, here's our top one who claimed the most coveted crown of best K-drama in Drama Fever. Full House from 2004 takes the crown as the number one K-drama on Drama Fever. This romantic comedy featuring a love story that blossoms from a contract marriage has left audiences laughing, crying, and swooning in equal measure. Its timeless charm and relatable characters make it a true gem among K-dramas. Han ji Yoon, played by Song Hye Kyo, is an aspiring scriptwriter, lives in a house called Full House. Her two friends trick her into believing she has won free vacation and sell her house while she's on vacation. She meets famous actor Lee Young Jae, and when she returns, she found out her house has been sold to him. Full House is a mix of comedy and drama that will give you a roller coaster of emotions. Song, Haikyo, and rain acting are superb. From heart wrenching stories to humorous plot lines, these K dramas have captured hearts globally. That's it on our part two, as we complete the top 20 best K drama in Drama Fever. If you like content like this, you can also check our part one and our other videos. Do you think Full House deserved to be the number one or should it be Jewel in the Palace? Or maybe you have favorite K-drama not on the list that deserved to be number one. What drama do you think we missed? Have you watched any of these dramas? Which one is your favorite? Comment your thoughts below and don't forget to subscribe World Famous SG. Our countdown has taken us through a palette of emotions, from the financial battlegrounds of War of Money to the royal intrigues of Queen Seondiok. We've laughed with my lovely Sam soon and swooned over Full House. This is the diversity and quality of K-dramas that Drama Fever offers. Experience the magic of K-dramas for yourself.
Who knows, you might just find your next binge-worthy series. See you on our next videos.